Friends, sit back and enjoy yourselves. Stevie Vaughn and Double Trouble. <laughs> Well, it's day three, and I'm back in Austin after dropping the car off at the airport. I decided to take a walk to the park on the south side of Austin. That club uh, that I was in last night was called the Continental Club, and the server in there last night was really nice. She told me all about a book that she was writing on uh, BDSM, of all things. And she gave me a really good tip to go to this other place just down the road in Soco, which is called Sea Boys. Apparently on Friday nights it's not unusual to find Jimmy Vaughan hanging out there. So, I'm going to go there. And it's Friday. I think I've learned a bit. I got the car back in one piece without it being a wreck. I'm going to go and see something very special indeed. Something that I've wanted to see for a long time. Interesting, this man wasn't born here. He was actually born in Dallas. Such an incredible part of this community. Look at this. some roses on it. This is shadow look. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm a bit lost for words here. Come and see something that I've imagined all these years. That's absolutely fantastic. I've just seen somebody run past this statue and just touch it as they ran past. They must do it for good luck or something. There we go. Me and Stevie. How you doing, mate? That's awesome. Huh. That was strangely emotional. I suppose I've listened to Stevie Ray for years and years and years and you kind of feel that you become somehow connected to them. But I've always simultaneously been obviously a long, long way away from this place and, you know, well, he's not been alive, so it's about as far away from somebody as you can possibly get, isn't it? Um, yeah, just coming and seeing a statue like that it just makes it much more real. I'm not really, uh, I'm not normally moved by things like that. Um, it's just a, you know, lump of metal that somebody's carved into a shape and stuck on the side of a river. But, yeah, that was different. The plan today was to go to the supermarket and buy some food, so I'm not eating out all the time. Plan has gone out of the window. I went to that walk around the park and that was really amazing. And I got a bit overheated. So um, this happened. And there wasn't really anything I could do about it. After that happened, I got talking to a really nice guy behind the bar. And he was telling me about how good the roast beef is. And I thought, well, I really should eat something. So now I'm having lunch. Righto, we're going to go and do some shopping now. All of my plans seem to be systematically destroyed. I'm doing this today because yesterday, remember I did that wonderful gleeful post about, oh, well, I fell into a bar and I ended up watching Formula One and having a lunch and then drinking a load of beer. This is what I should have been doing then. And now I'm regretting it because 
Grand Theft Auto 5 happened on me and stopped me from going to get any proper breakfast. I ended up in McDonald's again. More GTA action, first thing in the morning. How GTA is that? That's like somebody just stole a cop car and got five stars. Well, I had plans to go to Denny's this morning to go and get some breakfast and, you know, free refills and all that jazz. I was going to take the bus, but um, I ain't going to Denny's. Apparently somebody has ploughed into not just one, but an entire group of cyclists. The road appears to be blocked and more and more and more police are coming and it's getting more and more blocked. And I haven't had any coffee yet and it's getting hot. Uh, I can't go to McDonald's again. The McDonald's here is shit. Who would have thought the worst McDonald's in the world, they're all in America. <laughs> we do McDonald's so much better than they do. Uh, what am I going to do? What makes it worse is that there's a Denny's employee over there waiting to go to the same place. Uh, okay. Well, that worked out.